you've not responded on road fund and, and PDM. The main concern was that funds were inadequate and the government should support. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's one they can ask. Mm. How did you prepare this uh, feedback as a team? Yes. The answer is yes or no. Yes. But I think as a team, uh, with the, all the heads of departments, did you sit together and you were reading through the Auditor General's report and looking at these queries one by one and responding to them? I want to say that uh, when I came in this I country, think it is a yes order. May, may I talk? Uh, because, no, because what the engineers explained is that the only issue we had was this. And for us here, we are looking at the Protestant report, which we know was given to you, and you are supposed to go one by one to do these queries and the response to them. That's why I'm so, saying. Which, which I think is not excellent because there's no way somebody can say this is the money in my office now. If you sat and went to do this report together, this is the team. And for me, that is the weakness I'm seeing with you too. So they lost it as a team and went one by one and they respond. Maybe one of our leaders, if I can give you information, Drakao also needs to tell us the truth. Because if you're saying this uh, document was made in consultation with the other staff. You had said you are it, five months old in Madioko. But if you look at this document here, it was, uh, it, was, uh, it was made in uh, June 
June 2023. And, and some of this information which were sent to the, uh, to the ministry, they were received on, uh, on August 20, 20, 2023. So this is a contradiction. I can say that. I was not allowed to... No, but, but, but she asked you whether, whether, whether this was a joint effort to come up with That's this document. And she said that... And, and now we are, we are interested with guys who are three months. Actually, one was three weeks. All the office. And the for me, the district is not one person. My job always not out. It is a team. So I'm sure, even if you were two weeks old, there were staff who were there, who could answer human questions, who can answer engineering issues. My last comment is, is the PDM proper person? Who is the PDM proper person? Because not a single answer is given to the questions raised under the PDM. No, no response, zero. Production. Oh, the person in charge of production. I think that person is here and has come. Now has come to the Okay. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, Chair, it beats my understanding for the whole district again to deny, yet we had an exit meeting, and accounting officers made responses there, then, and they even acknowledged what they said. We have a road in Rhino Camp. We made mention of it. Rigbo Road. The Rigbo Road in Rhino Camp. We made mention of it. It had so many defects on it, and the accounting officer acknowledged the observation, and he made his explanation why he is acknowledging it. Now, the fact is, even me, I'm seeing the engineer for the first time. I've never seen him before. Then he, that is the fact that the team is disjointed. Competitive. They are making their own uh, disjointed responses. And that's the same thing we face. And, and here he blamed the, the poor works and the no color bags yeah. on the budget cards. Exactly. So, uh, accounting officer, again we are seeing this judgment in your team. So, Carl, have you also interacted with your predecessor? Maybe we talked to him. Yes, he was supposed to be with me here, only that he's attending court in Kampala. Because that is the time of his retirement. Engineer, you are the district engineer. You have your own. The road engineer. Road inspector. The road inspector. Yeah. You have. You have him. Yes, we have. He's around here. He is not with me. But do you also have a road inventor. Yes, we do, Mr. Chairman. We want to look at it. We we can provide that chair during the. Maybe chair before you you close. Because we have really taken a lot of time on you. But I want to, 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 to steal results for you. When we take a lot of time on you, it means you have not performed well. And for you, we have taken a lot of time. So now you know what it means. But uh, as, as, as I ask the chair to close, in Guinea, the issue of... Uh, of, of uh, Uganda Road Fund, yeah? take it serious. There are even other roads where you pay, you are alleged to have paid, but the, the payments are doubtful, totaling to around 32 million. We want you to provide a comprehensive answer. Now, when you bring also your report, we want you also to talk about the, the funds allocated for the roads in the in the town council in the in the town council please in your report you can forget other things but don't forget that and give us pictures 
of how those roads are, are, are faring as of today. Cow, a lot of funds were given to in the town council uh, for roads. So we want the engineer to tell us that those roads, I mean, those funds were put to good use. This is public information, honorable. At the time when I took over, my predecessor had instituted a special audit for the town council. And uh, most of the funds had been just uh, swindled by the former town clerk uh -huh. up to 120 million. So uh -huh. there is no road which uh, the engineer will show you in the picture. Which are the so there is no road. So, we so have, where is the money? We have, uh, we have uh, in the process of recovering this money from the officer because the officer already transferred service to the office of the president. We are not with him. But he wrote acknowledging and is paying part of the money, 60 million, but and the accountant, because they just shared the money with the accountant, who is also now on intervention. Yes, officer. Uh, thank you, Chair. Let's, let's, that is a valid information. How can somebody send you money? 100 and what? 20. And 20. Even if he is in the president's office, that is not heaven. Not at all. So we can't leave this like this. So for us, I think, really, sure, we will, I will think maybe our, our CIDs will interest themselves on this matter. And we will pursue this. Exactly. So there is nobody who is above the law. Not at all. Even if he, he ran to president's office, I think that's where we can get him easy. It's easy to catch him there. It's easy. easy. Because the president's office and parliament is the same, almost yes, the same course. building. Mm -hmm. exactly. You see, just uh, just uh, around the twenty steps, you already. The, 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 the yes. Yeah, so, I think we need to get the details. You give those details. You share the details with the, our CID. I think we should pursue these people. There is no way we can come here and you say there is no single road worked on uh, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the town council just because the, the then he was the then engineer. He was the town clerk. The town clerk ate 120 and he just goes like that. That is impunity. We cannot allow that. And that's why what I chair was saying our community interface with these people will so make a difference. Exactly. So if it doesn't make any difference, then there's no, there's, actually we should have not wasted our time to come. So we need to get the details from them. We should give details to our CIT team. We, we need to pursue this. So individuals cannot deny services for the locals. That no. will not make any sense. Just one or two person? Yes. No. So the two, the, the town clerk and the, and the what? Accountant. And the accountant, yes. We need their details. And, and where is the accountant now? Okay. And is there that evidence? Yeah, what? You have that evidence of interdiction? Yes. But you also said that uh, the town clerk had signed and committed himself that he's going to refund. Please provide all those. Those are those are important for us to 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 bring him and to make sure that he pays back. Good auditor. Thank you, Chair. Yes. In addition, Chairperson, it is true. These funds were misappropriated in uh, the year ending 2021. In uh, 22, they somehow, but still it was not okay. Chair, in 23, it was worse. They are 2023, and they are qualified accounts for that purpose. It is public information. And I uh, want to say that this information, uh, this matter is before the IGG, and the IGG is making good of that. So soon we shall have a report in that, in that nature. Uh, but I also want to further say that accountability issues are quite a lot in. We have in front of us in the report the issue of e payments. Uh, Chair, e payment, the Accountant General has introduced a payment system where you can pay by mobile phone to ease so that you don't have to go to work. But uh, we saw money is being paid by e payment and they were never accounted for. I, through your intelligence, CID should take further look at that. 
So we, um, ladies and order wise, uh, today, you. I don't know why you have been very quiet. Uh, 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 <laughs> Declare you are interested. Uh, I have conflict of interest. But Chair, I want to thank you and your team uh, for trying to correct a few issues. As just as you said at the beginning of this meeting, uh, when we interface with the local governments, it's not just because we want to harass someone and what have you, but we want to see how we can get the best ways to see how we can help uh, our communities. So I think uh, to my people of Madeokolo, I think uh, we have seen the, the, the shortfalls in our reporting, and I think I want to thank the team for giving ample time for you as to go back to reorganize uh, all the documents and the evidences and that will be submitted at any appropriate time. So I think I want to thank you for that uh, so that uh, uh, when they appear, next time they can have comprehensive uh, details. And I'm very grateful that the vice chair is here. Uh, the district, I think, uh, I want to thank you. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, honorable members of the team of Madi Okolo. I've never been there. I'll be coming there to prepare a very good middle-aged girl for me. <laughs> so that I connect up there. <laughs> but I wish also to say, Carl, you have an uphill task, especially with your subordinates. Please try to whip them into one fold so that you move as one. Simply move as one. We have taken a lot of time on you. We have so many other entities. Yesterday we worked up to almost 10 here, 10 p.m. And we have taken over two hours. Team also, HR. We, we, we trust women. I have my only daughters also doing the same work they are doing. Please, we trust women. This country has still a lot of trust with women. Don't fail the women folk, the majority of this country. Please, don't. And be abreast with a very other information of HR with you. Yumbe, you go to Yumbe, they will see. You ask somebody is very ready, he will even tell you the details and some names of over 1,000 teachers. You see, that, that is what we request you to have. Read. Lastly, the deputy governor is here, and maybe has stepped out a bit, and I wish to say, I hope we have not been pounding you too much. This is what you are supposed to give us. We need to know. In the service of this country, all of us are stakeholders. You have no other country to run to. Some of us who grew up during those tumultuous times, we ran to Kenya. I'm on the border with Kenya. And we would be taken like any destitute. But it's put right your country. The example for those of you who are here, you see what is in this land. Those who run here, the way you treat them, you may not know, but it has effect. Although Ugandans are very good people. I wish to say thank you so much. I don't know that somebody should call the, the, the deputy governor. Uh, maybe he's on the phone, I can see he's on the phone. Uh, because we have to go to another entity. If we could come very quickly, get uh, in one minute uh, a remark and then we move on. We are the Deputy Governor. It is time that we are chasing. We don't want to leave here at midnight. And you have seen this interaction with your uh, people, your technical people. Deputy Governor, these are instructive to you. What we have been doing is instructive. Bag into your executive committee and even TPC and many other meetings. Please try to guide them the way we have done. I wish also to invite you in one minute to have remarks from your distance.
thank you, Madam Chair. And the first person I will apologize for meeting late. Uh, I'm called Asel Geoffrey, Vice Chairperson. Uh, I was able to meet when there are some critical issues being raised. Actually, I appreciate the way uh, how you brought up the issue. But I'm appreciating that you have considered them some two weeks to reorganize re uh, the evidences and the presentation. I'll be very grateful that if my team will go back together with us, that uh, they will produce all this so that we clear the name of our district. Indeed, as they were trying to mention, there are some changes from the uh, from the accounting officer who is uh, almost five months old uh, to DDO who we had uh, almost this is the third DDO so these are some of those gaps which we will go back and work on them as I was out this was my chair in the Napala for Ukraine conference uh, I'm very informed him of what is taking place here, and let me reach back and see how we can team up together with them and see that they clear this this name of the district. We are very grateful. When you come, uh, some of the oversights which we as executive or maybe as a district have also correct and pull or improve on. It is very prudent for us to have this kind of interactions helps us to grow stronger and bridge those gaps which we are evidence in this city here. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Good lunch. Thank you so much. Thank you.